Hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, it's Haley here and it's been a while. So without a doubt, these are tough times that we're in right now. But you know what? I think everyone should make the most of it while they're staying inside, hopefully with your families or your loved ones, and pick up a new hobby. What better things do I have to do than spend two days straight making croissants? If you're here because you think this is gonna be an instructional video, it's not. I have no idea what I'm doing right now, so bear with me here, but let's get started. And I, oh, whoop. Wait, that's kosher, that's kosher. That's not gonna work. Ah! It's gonna take me a very long time to measure five grams of this. Apparently, whatever I'm weighing weighs 0 0.5 grams. There's nothing on it. Right, so I got I don't know, it's moving. Grams and milliliters are like the same, right? One to one. Okay, and I'm gonna put an entire pack of my active dry yeast in my water. And while you're waiting for your yeast to bloom, you can contemplate the state of the earth right now. Here I've got 25 grams of butter, which I'm going to melt, and one egg yolk as well. I always try to crack an egg with one hand, and it never... Now we're gonna combine our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients. Now, I'm gonna start by making a well in my sifted dry ingredients. Uh. Now, keep in mind, this is the easy part. It all goes downhill from here. <laughs> I'm just gonna kind of combine all of this together until we get a shaggy looking dough. Keeps looking a little dry. I think that's what we're going with for now. So now our dough has kind of come together a little bit in the bowl, so I'm just gonna give it a good knead on the countertop. I think like once you've kneaded it enough, you're gonna do like this slappy thing. So you're gonna like slap it and pull it over. Slap. Slap it into a smooth ball on top. This is, this is so not right. <laughs> it's not very smooth on the bottom but I'm gonna pinch it together and hope that that's okay. <laughs> a little dough ball baby. So we're gonna put it back into our bowl and cover it and let it rest for 10 minutes. All right, time for our first turn. So you're gonna kind of take each corner and fold it over like a little origami present. It looks like a little dumpling almost. I'll need to make a, what's it called? A barrette. <laughs> it's like basically like a block of butter. I'm gonna get 138 grams of butter. I don't know why it needs to be so specific. Ask the French. Oh, stop. Ah. Okay, we got it. I'm gonna cut it into like decent square shapes because you need it to be in a form that you can roll out into a good square block. <laughs> All right, so if you thought the math stopped there, you were wrong. So we're gonna try to roll this butter into like a four by four inch square. Inches? I'm Canadian. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing Tetris right now. Grab your rolling pin and we're gonna kind of like, I don't know, push it down. <laughs> What if you made grilled cheese, but instead of cheese between the two slices, you just put a giant block of butter? All right, I've messed up. I thought we were supposed to rest it for 25 minutes after its first turn, but it actually, we're only supposed to rest it for 10 minutes, so we have to do it one more time. Seam side down in the bowl, but like our first side, it's still so ugly. All right, it's been 25 minutes. We are gonna do our buttery thing with our dough. We're trying to make a little like dough packet, like we made the butter packet. Uh, plop this baby onto a sheet of wax paper and we're gonna make it seven by seven inches. This is hard, man. I don't, I don't understand this. So I guess we're gonna wrap it and then, it's not perfect, but you know, in the words of Hannah Montana, nobody's perfect, so. I don't care. So I'm just kind of going out and pressing it down with my rolling pin and like shoving it into the corners. 
But I'm gonna go ahead and put my little doe baby in the fridge and I'm very proud of her. And she's just gonna sleep overnight. I will see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> Mom, we can hear your TV. I'll put a towel by the door. Soundproofing 101. All right, we're back for day two. So today we begin the process of actually doing the croissant math. So I'm going ahead, lightly flowering my work surface. She's looking beautiful, I'm happy. Roll out each edge, I think, until it's like, oh my God. We're taking our barrage, I learned what it's called, it's called a barrage, and place it in the middle of our dough, but like a diamond. No, no, that's not right. <laughs> Make it have to get longer. Fold it like a little, like a little package. Oh, very nice. I love it. Very nice. Roll. So I'm flipping. Oh, okay. okay. It looks a little weird. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a parallelogram. Press down multiple times just to get the butter pressed into all the corners of the dough. <laughs> I don't know where my measuring tape is. So now we're gonna roll this out to 18 inches in length, which seems very long to me. <laughs> and it kind of doesn't really want to roll. Oh wait, sure. okay, I think we're only supposed to, okay, no, this is like folding. Ah! So it's only at, it's only at nine inches. So double this, we got this. looks pretty good to me. It's got a lot of these like butter pockets that you can kind of see under the surface, but I feel like that's good. So we're folding it, okay. Fold it three quarters of the way over the short, then take our shorter part. I feel like it's not even. I'm gonna fold the long part over the short part, and we have a little croissant envelope. But we're just gonna wrap this baby up and put it in the fridge for one hour to rest. Ah, like a clear plastic sheet of death. One hour later. All right, so it's time for our second and final fold. So this baby's been in the fridge for an hour and it's time to fold again. We're rolling this guy out to 18 inches one more time and I'm gonna do this again, I guess. No, no. Okay, don't actually don't touch my dough. I'm gonna kill you. Push one I will I will end you Put it A third of the way down one two okay math yeah, and then take the top the bottom part and wrap it over the top part It should be a square. What do you call this? Welcome back to another edition of Haley doesn't know how to do basic kitchen functions like plastic wrapping food. Time for our dough baby to go back in the fridge for one more hour. One hour later. It's been an hour. I'm kind of over this. Everything I own is covered in flour. I miss the instant gratification of baking cookies and then getting to eat them right away and not having to chill the dough seven times. I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Just go buy your own croissants. Now we're gonna roll our dough into our final shape for cutting. Try to score the bottom of our dough so that it's four and a half inches apart. But this, <laughs> I feel like that's a lot. Like, <laughs> what? Okay, four and a half inches. That's, those would be like a huge freaking croissant. Okay, ah! All right, so Chef Bruno says that I can just cut my dough however I want. This one's a little funky because she's kind of flat on one side. This is, this is my last croissant. It's just so freaking light. Here are our croissants before we roll them. Yeah, and they're all just really beautiful in their own way. They see me rolling. So I've rolled, okay, I've rolled my croissants and they're not perfect by any means whatsoever, but you know what? They're freaking beautiful if I do say so myself. So cover your tray just so they proof and then we're gonna leave them in a warm spot for two hours.
croissants are done proofing and I'm very excited. I like to think that my croissants represent humanity. They're all different, but they're all beautiful. Hi guys, have fun. Ah! <laughs> oh my God. So they look a little crispy. I might have burnt them a tiny bit, but that's okay. But just cheese, look at those layers. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two. Mm. What did I learn from this video? Homemade croissants, delicious, but just go, just buy them. Just go buy them at the store. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate you joining me for this really stupid video. If it's your first time here, hit like and subscribe. Who knows, maybe I'll make some more quarantine videos. I'll see you all next time. Bye.